Hello everyone. Today we are going to show you how to have a conversation with an AI generator, how to use the Learning Commons resources to add to or verify the AI generated information, and how to properly cite these sources. We are going to start with AI conversation skills, or as the tech folks like to call it, AI prompt generation. There are many AI generators out there for these instructions. I'll be using ChatGPT. I'll be going to the ChatGPT website. And if you have never used ChatGPT before, you can sign up for a free account. If you have an existing account, just log in. Here you will see any previous conversations you have had with ChatGPT, or you can start a new chat. I'm going to start a new chat. This is really easy. Just type a question or request into the message ChatGPT box on the bottom of the screen. I'm going to ask about the U.S. immigration issue. And as you can see, ChatGPT gave me a warning that this information may be a bit outdated since this is a constantly changing topic. Then it gives me a brief background with some key points highlighted. If I want to delve deeper, I simply have to continue the conversation like you would with any human. I ask some clarifying questions. Now I see a whole new list of information related to my clarifying question about legal pathways to U.S. citizenship for undocumented immigrants. I can keep this conversation going as long as I like, simply by asking more questions or making comments about what has been generated. I now have quite a bit of information on immigration from ChatGPT, and it has given me plenty of keywords I can use to search for more information in other sources. It is also fair to mention that ChatGPT and other AIs can give bad or misleading information. This is because AIs are trained using tons of random websites which may have had incorrect information. So it is always a good idea to check with other sources to verify the information any AI gives you. This is where the Learning Commons resources comes in. Now, I'm simply going to open a new tab and go to the Learning Commons website. For a topic that is as controversial as U.S. immigration, the CQ Researcher database is a great place to start. I enter U.S. immigration into CQ Researcher, and it gives me a list of 3,803 results with the newest entry first. Once I choose an article that I want to look at, I get all the citation information a brief abstract of the article, and I can scroll down to read the whole article. A nice feature of CQ is that at the end of each article, it gives you links to all the sources they used, just like you would do for a college research paper. A helpful tip for keeping track of the sources you are using is to download the PDF version of the article to your computer. You can also email or share a copy to yourself. Either way will help you keep track of your sources. When you want general background information on US immigration or any of the terms ChatGPT generated, Credo Reference is where you want to go. Credo is a collection of encyclopedias. Credo is a great way to see connected topics and get clarification on the topic's relevant terminology. It has great mind map feature that shows connections to other topics too. For peer-reviewed or scholarly articles, ProQuest, EBSCO, and Gale are the databases of choice. These are massive databases with millions of articles, which means learning how to limit your results is very important. I'm going to use ProQuest. As you can see, my U.S. immigration search led to 236,000 plus results. And that is way more articles than I want to read. I'm going to filter this down a bit by choosing full text, which means the computer has the whole article for me to read. And that dropped me down to about 180,000. Still too many. Now I'm going to choose published within the last 12 months to keep this recent. And that's 3,000 or so. Still too many. Now I click on more filters option and choose location. And I'm going to choose Texas from the list. And that's 665. Still a bit high, but definitely a lot more manageable. Now I have the sources I want to use, and I need to make sure I cite them properly for my paper. Learning Common gives me a couple of tools for this. For this video, I'm going to use Noodle Tools. The link to Noodle Tools is right on the Learning Commons homepage in the quick link section. As a member of the CMCC community, you can ignore the sign in boxes and simply click the Microsoft 365 orange box icon. If you're signed into Brightspace, you will be put into Noodle Tools. If you're not signed in or are new to Noodle Tools, you just use your CM email address and password. When you first use Noodle Tools, you have a big blank screen. Simply hit the New Project button and you can create a project name. Choose the citation style and always leave the project set to the Advanced option. Once you create your project, you can click on its name and you will now have a source page. You can hit New Source button to add sources manually or for any of the articles from the Learning Commons databases, you can automate that by going to the article, clicking the Cite option, and choosing Noodle Tools. For ChatGPT, you will need to cite it using the Manual option. Use the New Source button, choose the Website option, and choose Web Page from the list. Now you will fill in the blanks. 
On ChatGPT, there is an up arrow in the box icon on the top right. Click that and choose copy link. And you can paste this link into the URL box in Noodle Tools. For date of publication, enter the date you had the conversation with ChatGPT. And for the date accessed, hit the today link and it will enter today's date for you. Enter OpenAI into the last name or group box and change the contributors dropdown to author. In the description of format box, enter large language model and web page or document article title is ChatGPT. Once you have all your sources and noodle tools, you hit the box with the up arrow icon, choose export to Word or Google Docs if that's what you're using, and then click the submit button. This will generate a complete reference page Word document for you. When you need help with your in-text citations, you can click on the three dots next to your source and noodle tools and choose in-text citation for a whole list of examples of ways to do in-text citations. Now that was a lot of information in a very short time. If you forget something, the Learning Commons page has resources to help you through. Our handouts and tutorials page has instruction pages and videos that help with database searching, citing sources and noodle tools, and a whole lot more. We also have our citation styles guide, which has tons of text examples and online resources for even more information. Feel free to reach out to the Learning Commons for any questions you may have. Our contact information is shown here. Thank you and see you next time.